In the previous video, we extended the user drop-down menu by adding custom links and action buttons. Now, in this one, we're going to extend the user profile by adding custom pages, tabs, and also links. Let me show you what I mean. So once you click on the manage account on the user drop-down menu, this is another clerk UI component that ties in with the user button that allows the user to simply manage their account. Now, what if we wanted to add some pages to this? So instead of just having the profile and security, I want to have another page actually opening it up here to show more details about their account. So this is what we're going to do in this video. So again, this is easy by extending the user profile component. There's two things that you can add to the user profile. The first one is a custom page that shows up on the navigation sidebar and also inside of the model. So that's the custom page. And you can also add in a link that takes the user to a different page, not necessarily inside the user profile model or dialog. So let's just start from a custom page. You can use the user profile page on the user button component to actually render whatever you want here. You can actually pass in a custom page or a custom component. You don't have to inline the JSX, you get the idea. You could give it a label, an icon, and also a URL. For In this case, this you, there is no URL because it's not navigating the user to a different page. It is just showing that component. So actually try this inside of our own component. So I'm going to go to my component to clerk user component. This is the custom clerk user button we created in the previous video. And now I'm going to create a user profile page. Let's say terms and I am just rendering some JSX over here. So let's save this up, go back to our app, refresh. And now if I open up my manage accounts and go to the tab there, I can see these terms. If I click, I can see the content of my component right here inside of this dialog. Similar to this, you can also add a link. So instead of just showing something inside of the dialog, you could just use the user profile link on the user button to be able to show a link. So let's also add this. So now not only I have the custom page, but I also have a link that just takes the user to the homepage. Let me go to the dashboard actually so we could see this in action. So let's see, I'm on, on the dashboard page. I can come here, manage account. I can go to the terms or I can go ahead back to the homepage. So it just basically navigates the user back to the homepage. So that's how you can customize the user profile by either showing content inside of the user profile dialog or having a link that just basically navigates to a different page. Now, this was using the user profile in the default mode, which is a dialog. You could also render user profile as a separate page. Link in the description for the documentation. If that's the case, check it out.